telling you for a long time just how hard it is to find those N95 masks. One local department discovered a stash that they didn't realize it had. Local 12's Genesis Nero shows us now how a firefighter is using his special skills to make sure the masks can be used. John Morris is a firefighter and paramedic with Springfield Township who has a unique skill. I'm actually certified through the state of Ohio, NFPA, uh, to actually repair fire gear. I'm actually only one of probably eight people in Hamilton County that are actually able to repair fire gear. So not only will you find him out in the field, but also in this office sewing. But lately, instead of fixing uniforms, he's sewing something of great need and in limited supply. This is uh, the N95 mask. We have actually ended up having a stock of them in, from surplus. and But unfortunately enough, we found as we uh, pulled them out, they've been sitting around so long, the elastic band that's in here is actually dry rotted. So, I mean, it won't go around your face. Instead of throwing these masks away, stitch by stitch, he sews bungee cords to the back, making them usable. I'm thinking there's no way in the world that we're going to throw all these away. We got to find use for them somehow, some way. The department has a couple thousand of these masks, and his goal is to get every single one in use. Firefighters are using these traditional surgical masks when around the firehouse, but when they get a call, they'll use these N95 duckbill masks, which provide more protection. Everybody's helped out. They're allowing me to come down here sew more while they're up at making extra details throughout the day. So it's not just me, it's everybody at Springfield Township jumping in to, to make things right, make things better. And while some people sew these masks to make a profit. Me, I just want to keep my guys on the department safe. I really do. In Springfield Township, Jenna Cisneros, Local 12 News. And Morris sews about 35 masks an hour. Each mask costs them about 8 cents.